Hit the subscribe button. Number 10, The Dark Tower. Not being the biggest fan of the book, I'm sure there are plenty who are wondering why I choose this over better adaptations. Well, I liked it. I thought it was fun, and it's a shame they didn't make sequels. That's why. Number 9, Pet Cemetery. The original, not the remake. No writer enjoys the death of young children in his works more than Mr. King. Pet Cemetery scared the crap out of me as a kid. And although it might not hold up all that well, it still deserves to be on my list for the nostalgia. Number eight, Misery. Two amazing actors, one bad car accident, and that scene with the foot. I mean, that scene alone is why this one made it at number eight. This movie's not for the squeamish. Number seven, The Running Man. Not the first time this movie has made it onto one of my lists. And possibly not the last. Just a fun 80s Arnold movie. What more can I say? Number six, Salem's Lot. The original made-for-TV film. This one also scared the crap out of me as a kid. And parts of it still do. Found this one on Blu-ray last year and added it to my Halloween viewing collection. Let's go. Number five, The Mist. Non-stop monsters and terror pretty much right from the start. It was made into a TV show recently that was pretty well done, but the Tom Jane version will always be my favorite. Check it out. Number four, Dr. Sleep. Another one that I didn't read, but thoroughly enjoyed watching as a film. Ewan McGregor was great, and the last 20 minutes really brought me back to the original movie. Number three, The Shining. It really is one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. Twins are scary. Drunk dads are scary. But naked old ladies chasing you. That's the absolute scariest. I know King wasn't a big fan of this one, but I don't care. It's a wonderful movie. Number two, The Shawshank Redemption. Top two on the list is probably one of King's least scary stories to be told on screen, but also one of his best. Didn't matter how far into the movie it was. When you flipped onto a channel playing Shawshank, you kept it there and you finished it. Number one, Stand By Me. This is the best Stephen King movie, period. Kids on an adventure, not to find treasure or to have fun, but to find a dead body. I tear up a little bit at the end of this movie every time. You never know when the last time you'll see your childhood friends will be. Yo, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And remember to do three things for me. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and comment down below on what you want to see me top 10 next. Let's go.